Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Um, I've come away in Ivan again. It's probably the first time I've done this this year uh, due to all the kind of the COVID lockdowns that we um, have been in and out of over the last um, year or so. And uh, the last one I did was down in um, Portland. I'll put a link up to that uh, video before. And that was probably my first uh, solo camp that I've done away um, in, in the van or ever, in fact. So this is only my second time that I've ever uh, done something like this before. So where have I come today? I'm actually staying on a campsite, which is just on the outskirts of Corfe Village down in Purbeck, Dorset. And this village also um, is made famous actually by Corfe Castle, which is a well-photographed um, spot, pretty much like Portland was. It's a well-visited, uh, well-photographed kind of area. So I'm hoping um, in my exploration kind of today, later on um, at sunset and then sunrise tomorrow, I'll be able to obviously shoot the shots that everyone else uh, shoots for my own kind of uh, portfolio and also try and find um, some different kind of shots. And that's probably one of the reasons why I've bought my Yashica twin lens reflex camera with me today to try and do something a little bit different. I was last here probably a couple years ago um, now, and I did actually go up, um, it's called the West Hill, which kind of overlooks uh, Corfe Castle, and is one of the kind of the recommended spots to go and actually um, photograph the castle. And I was full of hope on that day because there was a lot of kind of mist and fog in the area. So I was really kind of um, hopeful for those kind of shots where you see the castle kind of rising and in and out of the kind of the mist but unfortunately I'll put up an image now uh, the fog just did not clear so I never saw the castle from that spot and at that time um, I obviously took other images of the castle when I was here but they were kind of nothing special because they weren't at the kind of the right times of day so here I am again so as I mentioned I bought my film camera today and I've loaded up with some Ilford FP4 plus one two five um so that should give me some nice kind of low grain kind of images and i've also pulled it back to 80 um because my yashica only does 80 and then 160 and when i've done some research um people seem to suggest that 80 works just as well and then just meter it um for if you were shooting 125 Right, so the rough plan for today is that sunset at about 20 past 6 today. It's now about half past 1 in the afternoon. I'm actually going to do um, a walk out of this book. Um, it's basically um, a walk down to the Jurassic Coast, um, just alongside the Kimmeridge kind of ledges and overlooking kind of Chapman's Pool. So the walk will kind of take me down to there. And then on the way back, I'm hoping um, I'll find a good location on Corfe Common to take kind of a shot looking back at the castle with the kind of the setting sun um, and hopefully um, some really good colours. It's been a really good week in Dorset um, this week in October for some good kind of sunset colours. Um, but looking at the weather now, it's a little bit more overcast than it has been this week. Um, but I really do hope I get some decent kind of colour um, as the sun sets later today. And then and then what I'll do then is then I'll return back to Ivan um, and enjoy the comforts um, that it can offer for the evening. And then I'll get up early the next morning, um, tomorrow morning, uh, for sunrise where I'll trudge back up to kind of West Hill where I was before um, a couple of years ago and fingers crossed hopefully get a good sunrise and maybe some mist but I do hope it clears this time. So as I mentioned earlier I bought my Yashica twin lens reflex film camera along but I'm also going to shoot uh, digital compositions as well because I'm not going to tie myself to just film because the Yashica only has a focal length of 80 millimeters uh, whereas I want to tr kind of try and capture different compositions of the castle. So I've kind of bought my um, 12 to 40 and my 50 to 200 and a 1.4 X teleconverter uh, with me today, just to give me those kind of options if I see the kind of compositions that I'm kind of looking for. Anyway, let's get going.
Right everyone, so I'm about two miles into this walk and I've just realised a fatal flaw um, in my gear. Um, you can probably see it in the distance over there, let me swizz around. But just on the horizon there, there's Corf Castle and I thought, oh this would be a good time to test out the 5200mm lens. And that was until I realised that I forgot the adapter. Because this is a four thirds lens, it needs an adapter to fit to my micro four thirds lens. So I've been carrying around this lump along with the teleconverter and I'm not going to be able to get to use it. So that's a bit of a, a disappointment. So I'll have to just remember the locations for a future visit and struggle through my 12 to 40 and also the 80 of the Yashica. So anyway, onwards. made it to the coast and as you've probably seen on that b-roll just now um, it's been pretty sparse the landscape until it's kind of opened up now at the coast and um, I'm a little bit disappointed that I haven't really found any decent compositions to use uh, with either the, the film or my digital cameras um, don't get me wrong it's absolutely lovely to be out here and the landscape is um, spectacular um, but I'm just not feeling it for any kind of photography at the moment. So whether that's because the, the light is pretty um, dull, it's, it's quite a, a kind of a thick cloud cover um, still at the moment. And um, sunrise, sorry, sunset is about just under three hours away yet. So um, I do really hope it kind of clears so I can at least try for some kind of um, sunset compositions but I, I still don't really know yet uh, where they might be especially now um, that I've been lugging around the 50 to 200 mil lens and I can actually uh, use it. So you've got a lovely view right down to the, the head of that peninsula there and then the other way you can see Portland out to sea and then also along the coast so you've kind of got Kimmeridge, uh, Low Wove Cove, Dorador, those kind of areas along that way on the coast path. I'll row some more b-roll now and um, I'll head back inland now towards uh, Corf and Corf Castle and hopefully um, I'll start to see some more compositions. So let's get going. middle of October I'm down to my uh, my t-shirt uh, actually sweating uh, sunset is in less than two hours and I've still got probably three four miles to get back to um, Corf Castle so I best get a move on Right, so I finished the uh, the walk and disappointingly I didn't really find any compositions worth um, stopping and talking to the camera um, through. So um, in advance of tomorrow I've come up actually onto West Hill as you've just seen uh, from the b-roll and I've set up my Yashica there just to take a few shots um, of the cliched kind of castle um, shot through the gate. Just, just to get in the kind of the swing of things before um, tomorrow morning. Meter it, null it. Right, so then, yeah, so an aperture of 11. That 
that might actually be that might actually be closer to three seconds so um, I'm just going to guesstimate I think this one tonight screw in like so so that's my my cable release so we reckon a bulb of about three seconds so ready one two three release right so wind it on Right, I'm back at the van now and I'm sorry to say that was a little bit of an unmitigated disaster today. Basically I just tried to cram too much in. What with trying to cram a 9 mile kind of red AA walk into the mix and then I've got the vlogging stuff to do and then normal photography as well as then film photography where I've got to then put it on a tripod. Well, good morning everyone it's about um, an hour and a quarter to um, sunrise down here in Corfe Castle and um, I've just looked at the weather forecast and I really don't think there's going to be any kind of sunrise that I was kind of hoping for um, the cloud cover is too much and too low and it's showing um, fog um, quite a high percentage chance of fog um, but for a few hours in the morning so I really um, think it's going to be a bit like last time where I'll, I'll pitch up it'll be completely covered in fog and it just won't kind of lift until the kind of the best of the light if, if any light is going to appear so um, it's all I've got left to do uh, today anyway so I'll just go up and um, see what, what happens really but yeah I'm not holding out much hope and um, I was checking a few things over last night in, and in my haste last uh, night as well those two exposures that I did on the Yashica are just not going to turn out right I just I just completely forgot to uh, change the change the shutter speed to bulb so so I was left with uh, 1 60th of a second exposures rather than the needed three seconds for that kind of scene so um, yeah just just a bit disappointed with myself and um, yeah I'm just gonna try and go out and um, enjoy myself this morning despite with with no expectations um, because the weather forecast is pretty grim so um, well not not grim but um, just not not good for photography so so let's go and see what we got Yeah, so I'm really glad I made the effort to uh, come out this morning. It almost kind of redeemed myself a little bit from uh, yesterday's um, disappointment. And as you can see, um, the mist did in fact clear off from the castle. Um, it was just a little bit unfortunate that the sun didn't break through the cloud just to kind of give it a different kind of um, dimension or look to the scene. So this time as well, I managed to uh, set the film 
shutter speed uh, correctly so hopefully um, at least one of those shots uh, will kind of turn out all right but uh, you can probably hear it now in the background a lot more there's a lot more kind of car noise around as the kind of the world uh, wakes up really so I think I'm just gonna have a little bit of an explore up here um, for kind of future visits to see whether there's any other good kind of points because I kind of tended to stick to the same one because um, because because generally I quite like the way that the castle kind of lined up and had a bit had enough kind of gapping and um, yeah I just went when I walked around this morning I just felt that that was kind of like the best location for me um, for this trip and I, I really hope that time-lapse works worked well as well so it'll be interesting to see uh, what, what that's like when I get home as well so yeah but it's absolutely glorious up here now but the fog um, mist is coming in a lot thicker you can probably see it in the background now it's a bit more of a blanket covering whereas before I think my favorite shot was when there was almost kind of like a depression in the fog which kind of followed the landscape and I think that's definitely going to be my my favorite shot if it, if it turns out all right in the camera so um, yeah so I put a little bit more b-row on now um, as I just kind of explore things maybe shoot some more film and just just have a kind of a gentle stroll back to the the van for some breakfast Well, I hope those shots of the castle just then um, will come out okay because I'm shooting right into the sun here I'm trying to kind of shield the lens as much as I can with my hand to try and uh, cut down the flare and um, I've got an idea for kind of like a nice really contrasty uh, monochrome shot um, in this location it's actually beautiful actually because the, you've obviously got the sun it's getting up a little bit too high now I'm losing those kind of streaks down the side of the kind of the um, the hilltop with the castle on um, that that it was kind of going into the fog and the, the fog is starting to dissipate a little bit now so I think I think I'm probably almost to the point where um, I've got as much out of this location today that I can um, but wow I'm really pleased that I made the effort to come out here this morning it's been absolutely beautiful and I've had a quick look at that time lapse and that looks really good as well so um, at least this morning it's kind of worked out okay for me yes I haven't really been able to find anything different um, at Corfe um, but who cares I'm having a, a good time and it's just lovely to, to be out here this morning right I'm back from the castle um, I've just put a brew on and I'm gonna have a late breakfast and then I'm gonna head on home so thankfully I managed to capture those uh, last few images this morning because if I didn't do that I would have been a complete write-off this morning I feel and um, so I'm really pleased with some of those images and if not certainly um, it's definitely some locations to uh, return to and I hope the film um, comes out okay as well so um, obviously um, put your thoughts in the comments um, below. I'd be interested to find out whether you like the shots I've taken or not. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.